Right, I have another Windows hints and tips here for you. This one's a quicker, <laughs> and it's a quite a common problem that I'm going to show you now. That uh, certainly if you're in the UK, and that is the default US keyboard layout. Um, I'll sh give you an example of what happens here. Um, this usually shows itself up quite quickly after a reinstall, and also on some new PCs if they haven't been installed properly. Um, then have Windows installed correctly for the US uh, for the UK, sorry. Um, so what you'll find is when you when you're going in there to do your email, um, you'll go to input the at, and you'll get quotation marks. And if you're going for the quotation marks, and you hit the number two, you'll get the at symbol. Um, and basically, what's happening there is we've got a US default software keyboard on a hardware physical UK keyboard uh, and the two don't mix so what we need to do here is set our default keyboard layout to the UK um, so this is a fresh install of Windows 7 um, if you're following this on Vista it's pretty much the same um, you'll certainly be able to figure it out from watching this as to where to go and what to click um, so if we go down to start and left click on start, go to control panel, left click control panel, you see you have clock language and region up here. Um, now you can either click that or change keyboard or other input methods underneath it, but we'll go the full route. Um, so once we're in there you'll see change keyboard or other input methods and we want to left click on there, which will bring up the region and language properties box. And you'll see that on the tab at the top here we have keyboards and languages and then a button to change keyboard. So we click that button, which again opens up another sub menu. And you'll see here that uh, default input language is English US and the only option we've got here is English US. So what we want to do is add English UK. So if we click on add, we'll be given a list of languages and keyboard layouts and we want to zip down this list until we find UK we expand and expand the keyboard and you'll see there that we've got a tick box inside the United Kingdom so we tick that box, click OK now if we drop down this box here now you'll see we have United Kingdom so I want to left click on there and if we hit apply that will be applied now what we can do just to remove confusion is to actually get rid of the US keyboard if we're in the UK. If you don't need the US keyboard or you, you just want the UK keyboard, um, you just left click on the US, and it'll highlight the US, and you'll see that we now are offered the option to remove. So we hit remove, and there we go. We're just left with the UK keyboard. Click apply, click OK, and click OK again. Um, that just removes. The, uh, the temptation, or the, the you know the opportunity for somebody to accidentally switch it back again. Um, so if we now go into our text document and we go to at, we get at, and if we go to the number two, we get quotation, um, and that's it. Just simply change the default keyboard to your country, and you're done. And I'd like to thank you for viewing.